Hi, I'm Lizzie and this is Laura. And today we are going to talk to you about our experience at Ola on board MSC Virtuosa. So Ola is a specialty restaurant on board um, most MSC cruise ships, I believe. There are two options when you're dining in there. There is an a la carte option where you can choose individual items for the menu. And then there's the option that we chose, which is the all you can eat option, which costs £17.99. The reason why we chose that option is because we've seen so many other people talking about it yes. and saying what good value for money it is. Mm -hmm. So we had tried to visit Ola on a previous day. However, it was fully booked. So mm -hmm. then they sent us down to the booking desk and we booked a table for 12 o'clock. We yes. were probably about five minutes late because we were just finishing off a drink in the virtuoso lounge so we could see that nobody else had gone in there yet so we, so we walked across and we were welcomed by our who turned out to be our waiter mm -hmm. and he gave us a choice of where we wanted to sit because we were the first people in there and we just chose a table and sat down yeah we sat on like um a comfy looking seat yeah. basically we picked one of the like the bank across the side and sat there so as normal in a restaurant, the waiter came over and took our drinks orders first. We were both really sensible and had a soft drink, which I think he was a little bit horrified by for a second, but we stuck with the soft drink and then asked us, um, left us to be, to be there to look at the menu for yeah. a little while. Then he came back and asked us if we decided what we wanted to order. We told him that we wanted to choose the all you can eat option and we were given the choice then at that point of whether we wanted to choose items from the menu ourselves or go with his recommendations. So we're an adventurous pair and decided to, to go with the recommendations from the waiter. He did ask us straight away then if we liked spicy food and we both said, yeah, we're not mm -hmm. bothered. And he asked us about any particular likes or dislikes. And we <laughs> yeah. told neither of us like sour cream. So Which is a bit awkward in a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> so he was like, yeah, that's not a problem. I'll just make sure I let the kitchen know mm -hmm. that you don't want any sour cream on your food. So the way it started us off with um, just some like tortilla chips. We each got a guacamole and each had like a little salsa. And then there were two like cheese dips. Excuse my pronunciation now, but one was called queso fundito, which was like um, cheese, just like pure melted cheese. Chopped tomatoes on and it. Chorizo? Yeah. Was it chorizo? Yes, it was. Like a chorizo style, yeah. anyway. And then the other one, which was a no-go for me, but Lizzie gave it a try, it. was um, refried beans and cheese al chapo. Laura just has a really strange aversion to anything that contains a bean. It doesn't matter what type of bean it is, <laughs> unless it's a jelly bean. No, I'm not that into jelly beans well, either. She'd eat that one. But yeah, no kind of bean for me. So then he bought us out um a tray which had all seven of the different tacos on it um we all we both wanted to try each one mm -hmm. so it was a bit of a challenge sometimes to cut some of them in <laughs> half because but we were determined to try each one my favorite i think was probably the one that had pork and pineapple in it it was quite tasty yeah i really liked the fish taco it was a little bit different from stuff i would tried before so yeah but they were all good there yeah. wasn't one on there that i didn't like except there were beans in the chili one uh, next to come out was the quesadillas. Yeah. Um, there were three different types on there. There was a cheese one, a chicken one and a beef one. Again, all three of them were really nice. They mm -hmm. came with guacamole and salsa. Yeah. And we'd still got some of that earlier. From anyway, I mean, my, I was boring and my favourite one was the cheese one, to be honest. Really? Oh, chicken for me. Chicken all the way. The cheese one was literally just a tortilla with melted cheese in Can't it. I can melted cheese. <laughs> But at least the chicken one had a bit of like flavour going on. But they were all all nice. Cheese has got flavour. And we were already struggling yeah. by this point. So those those items were well on the way to filling us up. And next we were presented with burritos. We expected to only receive one and have half each, but he brought two out, which oh, we were they big. They were massive and we were horrified by it. And um, it was chicken burrito and um at this point, there was definitely some sour cream in there and definitely some beans in there. Um, the sour um, cream, though, because it was only like a little thin bit, yeah. it's, it was, you couldn't really taste we it. We could just, cope with yeah. it. If if we didn't like it, we would have said, but we we coped with it. And to be honest, we were so full that we, we didn't really want to eat it anyway. But it was really tasty mm. again. And we only ate half of it each because yeah. 
as he put the burritos down, he went, <laughs> next we've got the enchiladas to come. We were like, I don't think we can do it. <laughs> so yeah, we, we made sure to send half the burrito back, which felt a bit wasteful, but we knew there was already something else on the way. Before we'd even finished the burritos, the enchiladas arrived on the table. Mm-hmm. Um, enchiladas are one of my favourite things. Yes. So I was delighted to see it, but again, there was a little bit of drizzle of sour cream on the top again it was okay because you could just sort of mix it in um beef enchiladas they mm-hmm. were really really tasty again there's lots of melted cheese so it was obviously going to be tasty and we were getting defeated now <laughs> we were but we just had to had to give it a good try because it you know it was there we were on holiday why not and the food was so good it made you want to keep eating even though we were really uncomfortable so after we'd made a bit of an attempt at the enchilada the waiter came over and offered us dessert (laughs) he wasn't to be honest surprised when we said we really couldn't manage it desserts did look good though they did like ice cream in a taco shell which i think would have been really nice but we just had absolutely no space left at all and so we gave up and we were defeated at that point bit disappointed but we made it. <laughs> I'm never bothered about not having dessert, so it didn't bother me. I'd rather eat more of the savoury food. <laughs> um, while we'd been in there, we were in there for a good hour and 45 yeah, minutes. it was a good long meal. We The restaurant itself was full by the time we mm. left there. It filled up and filled up and filled up. Most people had booked. I think there was one table that walked in by chance mm-hmm. and they did manage to get seated. We saw um, one table did just have a la carte. Another table who came in and they were, they were welcomed back, which we always yeah. think is a good sign. And there was staff eating in there too. Yeah. And then the table next to us originally decided that they were going to have a la carte. Yeah. But then I think they made all our food coming out. <laughs> they changed their minds and went for the all you can eat. Yeah, they did. They asked the waiter, didn't they, if it was okay to do. He had to go and check with the manager because mm-hmm. they'd already all had a course. So to switch it, you had to go and check if it was okay, but it wasn't a problem, and they they sorted it out for them. The drink service was really good in there. As we said, we only had soft drinks, but again, the table next to us, um, one of the people on the table ordered a frozen margarita, and straight away he was like, you do know that's not in the drinks package, don't you? He didn't want her to have it without being warned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a really good meal, wasn't it? We really enjoyed it, absolutely. And we kind of we had we weren't in a rush to sort of get out of there on the day we went in so it was really good to do the all all you can eat you probably need to make sure you've got plenty of time to get your money's worth out of it but if you're ever on an msc cruise it's definitely worth visiting yeah highly recommend it really good value for money it's our type of food anyway Mm -hmm. so we would always like it so if you love mexican food it is definitely worth doing we were absolutely desperate to try it as well. I mean, from seeing like other people's videos of them visiting and things like that, we were like, we've got to make sure we get in. So we'd have been really disappointed had we not managed it and we really, really enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a like and make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you've got any questions, please also drop them down in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. You can also follow us on all social media. We're at Sisters on the Seas.